Good afternoon. This is Universal News Media. It is January 28, 2018. Today we will be looking at some planets and moons caught on the Alaskan Federal Aviation Weather Cams and the Canadian Aviation Weather Cams that are scattered across Alaska and Canada. These images just came in today. The first group of images we are examining came from Medicine Hat, Alberta, Canada. These are two small moons that are orbiting something bigger which is not in the pictures. We will play them forward and backward to provide a better view of the path in which they are traveling. The east-facing weather cam at Cape Yakutaga, Alaska picked up this planet that appears to be rolling through the air because of its fast rotation. Look closely because it is very transparent. It is made nearly transparent by the atmospheric chemicals. Here is the same group of images with contrast turned up in the spot where the planet is so that the planet is easier to see. Eventually it fades into transparency from the atmospheric chemicals that are sprayed by the military jets. Here is a pink planet that is seen daily from many locations throughout Alaska and Canada. Today we just happen to have a good view of it from the south facing camera located in Seward, Alaska. In one frame you'll notice that a black beam shoots across the sky from the center of a black dot that sets in front of the sun, which we will see in a couple seconds. This black beam always passes by the planet at the very bottom so that it looks like the eclipsing planet is sitting on the black beam. This black beam is usually caught on several different cameras. This black beam is a positioning indicator so that the concealing equipment can track it as it passes in front of the sun. During an eclipse, the black dot in front of the sun is always present. The same black dot appears in the center of every single lens flare when cameras take pictures of the sun. Try it sometime and you'll see this round orb in the center of the lens flare. As the sun moves past the pink planet, the eclipse concealing equipment swings around to obscure its view. The black dot has the equivalent of a gigantic flashlight behind it so that it appears as though the sun is in front of the eclipsing planet, but that's not the case. The planet is actually between the black dot with its lensing system and the sun. The concealing equipment passes across as the pink planet moves between the flashlight sun and the real sun. Once the sun is passed, the concealing equipment moves out of view, and the pink planet continues on its path. The equipment that swings in front of the sun and across the screen is only present during eclipses, no other time. The planet finally fades into transparency from the atmospheric chemicals. This next video is another eclipse viewed from the south facing camera at Black Rapids, Alaska. It is easier to see when played backward. The planet is nearly transparent from the atmospheric chemicals. The last video we have comes from the east facing camera in Keisto, China, Alaska. This is a small moon. We know it's not our moon because our moon does not travel on a horizontal path near the horizon. Anyone can view these same images that we put into these videos by going to the web page address in the top right corner of this screen avcams.faa.gov